Well, happy Thursday, Memorial. Hear this scripture from 1 John chapter 3, verse 1 through 3. Behold how great a love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called children of God. For this cause the world doesn't know us, because it didn't know him. Beloved, now we are all children of God, and it is not yet revealed what we will be. But we know that when he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him just as he is. Everyone who has this hope set on him purifies himself, even as he is pure. What kind of love is this? Like the beloved hymn, Amazing Grace, when I read this scripture and think about what it means, I am brought to my knees with wonder and amazement. It's hard for us in our humanity to even conceive the full majesty of um, 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 an omnipotent, omniscient creator of all that was, is, or ever will be. We box God into our human limitations. And in so doing, we diminish the enormity of God's full manifestation. So in digging deep into this scripture to appreciate what it says, let me try to put into context how great a love God has for us. So imagine with me for a moment the most magnificent human being possible. A person, think about a person who is so universally known as the wealthiest person on earth. A person with unlimited power over life and death, of, on, of uh, the control over every person on earth. And a person who has, with one word, the authority to destroy any part of the earth. This person, in our imagination, is held in awe and reverence by every inhabitant of the planet. Now, imagine that one day you get a call from this ruler of the earth who calls you by your name and tells you this news that you have been selected to become this person's adopted child and you will inherit all that this person has to give. The ruler of the world has decided that you are worthy of this standing because as you hear said in your ear, you are my beloved child and I want you to have everything I have because I love you. Now imagine as well that you have not done one single thing to deserve this news. Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us that we should be called the children of God. This is limitless love with an unimaginable inheritance. This inheritance is life itself, full life now and eternal life to come. And we have done nothing to deserve it. Beloved, now that we are children of God, and it is not yet revealed what we will be, but we know that when he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him just as he is. When we accept this gift that Jesus offers us and we know that we are now the children of God, initially we can't even truly imagine what it all might mean any more than we can imagine the magnitude of God or the level of magnanimous love and kindness that God has for us. We can't even imagine it any more than we can imagine what life will be after we depart this earth. We can get a glimpse of it though, when we commit to becoming a disciple, a follower of Jesus and all his ways. We begin to experience a level of joy and peace we could not conceive of before we began our walk with Jesus. We begin to see eternal truths in ways we couldn't understand before following Jesus and learning how to live as Jesus lives. We begin to see that we can transcend our circumstances, 
no matter how difficult or painful they may be. We begin to see our thoughts and ways being transformed and we begin to see we are changing and are changed. We can't explain this to someone. It has to be experienced to know it. It's why the scripture says, for this cause the world doesn't know us because it didn't know him. Becoming more like Jesus is what the scripture is saying. We will be like him. The promise that this has, this promised inheritance as children of God, is nothing like a financial inheritance, which truly pales in comparison. It's incomprehensible, really. This is a blessing beyond measure or human understanding. So my question to you is, do you know Jesus? And do you know that you are indeed a child of God? Do you really know what this means? If not, my hope and my prayer is that you will take your, your faith farther by committing your path to full discipleship, living in Christ and Christ living in you, holding nothing back and following Jesus wherever Jesus leads you. You won't regret it. Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us, that we should be called the children of God. Blessings on your day, friends.